Hello, good morning. It's a glorious Thursday the 6th. Uh, no, it's not. It's the 10th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So throughout Brexit, it's been difficult to know how much has just been a game of bluff and double bluff. But there is a clear lack of trust between the two sides. And yesterday, the UK released the Internal Market Bill. That's legislation for how to deal with goods across the Irish border. And it's rather put a cat amongst the pigeons. It's worded in a way that gives the UK Trade Minister the authority to effectively change the terms of part of the withdrawal agreement. The withdrawal agreement was signed, sealed and delivered last year and is governed by international law. So it's rather outraged the EU Commission. Ursula von der Leyen's already been on. She says she expects the UK to comply with international law and implement the withdrawal agreement in its current form. So what do you make of all this? Do you think Boris would break the law to get the deal he desires? Wouldn't be the first time he'd had a brush with the authorities. We've had plenty of fallout already though. John Major's been on, XPM. He said if the UK is seen as untrustworthy, it could cause irreparable damage. Even Nancy Pelosi, um, the US House Speaker's been on. She's raised her concern for the Good Friday Agreement and for any US-UK trade deal definitely one to keep an eye on as it unfolds but maybe they'll backtrack maybe they'll blame autocorrect as the reason for the misinterpretation who knows sterling had a pretty volatile day uh, between 128.85 and 130.25 we opened slightly higher today around 130.30 against the dollar over in the US, there are rumours that the replacement for the unemployment support, which expired at the end of July, may not come until after the election. Social security benefits is always a tricky subject over there, but this delay would leave large parts of the economy, and indeed the electorate, rather exposed. Um, in the market, the dollar index failed to break through the 94 level. We ran out of steam at 93.66 yesterday, and euro dollar dropped to around 117.50 before recovering to close just over 118. Uh, this morning, we opened slightly higher around 118.30. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Please do join me again tomorrow. But that's it from me today. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.